just woken up and in this video I want to share with you my daily superpower habits that will set you up for an amazing day full of energy, vitality and joy, literally creating your day like a masterful creator and manifesting things as you go along with ease and grace. So watch this video. The first thing I do as I wake up, I say thanks to my bed for a great night's sleep. It may sound funny, but this little trick is something I've learned from Louise Hay. And it really allows me to start my day with a grateful heart, which is a beautiful way to live because we know that when we ooze the vibration of gratitude, we attract more of the same, more of the things to be grateful for throughout the day. So it's, it's a brilliant way to start your day right off the bat with something that you are deeply grateful for in your heart. I then swiftly move on to setting an intention for how I want my day to go. I start with this is going to be an amazing day. Everything I desire comes my way easily. I prime myself for a day of fun, of learning, of, of um, excitement, receiving beautiful things with ease, feeling supported, feeling loved, feeling joyous and blissful throughout the day. I also set intentions for how I want my work to go. For example, if I'm coaching that day, I um, set intentions for um, my clients to experience wonderful, profound transformations to help them in their lives um, to feel more joyous, more abundant, more prosperous, more successful, more loved or anything that might be uh, causing them challenges right now. And I really see myself as a channel through which the divine delivers the unconditional love and support to all the people that I'm coaching. So I highly recommend you starting your day intentionally, setting an intention for everything you desire, whether it's work, you know, how, how you want to feel around friends, family, your loved one, what you want to create in your life and anything else in between. It's a magical way to live and I wouldn't have it any other way now. And sort of starting the day from a place of gratitude really opens you up to to be able to receive amazing things throughout the day because that vibration acts like a default um, on from which you operate. And if, if there will be any triggers um, that come your way throughout the day, if you prime yourself first thing in the morning, that, that default vibration will be much stronger than those triggers. So you will be able to overcome any challenges that you experience from the external environment much more effortlessly. The second thing I do is I take a shower. Um, I tend to alternate the hot and cold to really boost my immune system and freshen up and come out of the shower feeling rejuvenated and vibrant. And I then nourish my skin. Skin is the biggest organ in your body, therefore it's really important to look after it and make sure you um, basically hydrate it and polish it and nourish it with um, ingredients that are really good for it. So, uh, But also as you age, I'm heading to uh, 39 this year and I really aim to age gracefully. So for me it's important to use products that are gentle to your skin but also lift and tighten the skin such as this gorgeous hyaluronic um, concentrate is from the brand called the chemistry and uh, i got this from um, qvc there is qvc in the uk and also qvc in the us this big tab is for the body can also be used on your face um, so this is what I start with and I use my gorgeous Jade Gua Sha, which is like a massager tool where I apply a bit of a product and um, I then sort of spread it and gently massage it into my skin so that it nicely lifts it and also rejuvenates 
the skin. A Chinese um, empresses who basically use this tool to keep the the skin beautiful and tight. You can use it all around your eyebrow and basically in the upward motion. And it gives you like a gorgeous massage. I think I can take this off now. My hair is sort of more or less dry. Ah, but um, that feels better. So the, the second thing that I do, I use um, Melatogenin Eux Probiotic Cream from Gatineau range. I absolutely adore this French skincare. I've used it for a number of years and, and I can't live without it. It basically lifts your skin like nothing else. It gives your skin all the nutrients, vitamins, minerals and um, probiotics that it needs. But also it's packed with powerful anti-aging formulas that really lift your skin and um, tone it and prevent any further kind of unnecessary aging of your skin. So your skin looks you looks younger, fresher and more vibrant for longer. So those are the two things that I that I do actually three things with my gua sha. I'll link um, all of it in the product description below if any of this resonates with you and if you'd like to try it. For me, these are my three must-haves. I do this um, facial massage every morning and every evening and I can tell you that my skin has definitely improved. It's a lot more tight and a lot more glowy. So you can see you can keep your skin looking younger for longer with beautiful and non-expensive tools like this gorgeous gua sha. You can get it on Amazon in various Etsy shops and it's just a gorgeous way of you know to look after your skin and keep it looking beautiful. And then I move on to um, nurturing my body from the inside. I really believe in the beauty from the inside out. I don't believe in certain stereotypes that only women who are skinny, only women who are certain type, shape or form are pretty. I really believe that every single woman is beautiful um, and that beauty, when you believe it, that beauty shines from the inside out. It doesn't matter if you have, you know, few kilos on whatever age you are, beauty is eternal, just like you are. And uh, it really starts in our mind. And as you carry that through into your body and feel good about yourself, that sort of oozes out of you onto the outside and people see you as beautiful. So now I'm going to take you into my kitchen to show you some pretty awesome morning routine habits that I have been doing for about a year now and I tell you what my energy has gone through the roof. Um, a lot of you who have been going through the ascension process know that this journey is intense and it often leaves you feeling very drained. So looking after yourself uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually is incredibly important because, you, because you're basically learning to love yourself in every aspect of your being, your mental body through meditation, through conditioning yourself to have the kind of life and reality that you wish to create. Then emotionally, you know, you're feeling the emotions of the reality that you want to have in your life, but whether it's abundance, joy, uh, an amazing lover, partner, husband, um, family, opportunities, exciting adventures, whatever it is, you're conditioning yourself emotionally that you are allowed to have it, that you're worthy to have, of having it and that it's easy for you to receive. And that this goes a long way towards balancing of feminine energy within, which is an important aspect of the ascension and especially the twin flame journey where you are guided to learn how to balance the feminine and masculine energy within so that you can come into full union with yourself first. And then if you have chosen to unite with your beautiful twin flame in the external reality, once you have that unity on the inside, it presents itself on the outside so much more effortlessly. 
So come with me, I'll take you to the kitchen where I'll show you uh, my morning power habits that I can't live without. They will supercharge your energy and vitality and will make you feel amazing from the inside out. So one of the very first things I do as soon as I get up, I drink a hot lemon water. Lemon is exceptionally good for your digestive tract. It helps to cleanse and revitalize you and really get rid of any gang that doesn't need to be there, which um, automatically helps to rejuvenate your system, gives you more energy and vitality throughout the day. But and generally keeping your digestive tract clean, healthy and working optimally. If your digestive tract is healthy, you tend you don't tend to have any problems with digestion and and therefore your body can invest that energy into other things so you generally feel like you have so much more energy and vitality so this is what i do i grab a lemon and um i typically rub it sort of like push it and squeeze it before i cut it and this helps to then squeeze all the juices nicely out of the lemon with much less effort. So grab a knife, be careful and simply cut through the lemon. I also cut one more piece just for fun and put, put it on my cup like this and then simply squeeze the lemon juice into your mug. And then simply uh, put the hot water in. And now you have your gorgeous hot lemon water ready to help you kickstart your day full of energy and vitality and uh, to create the life on your terms. Mm, delicious. The next thing I do is that I rejuvenate my body with powerful nutrients that boost my immune system from the inside out. I love juicing and you may have heard about the celery juice. So I'm at the moment in Cyprus and this must be by far the biggest celery that I have ever seen. It's probably the, the size of my hand if you can see it. It's absolutely ginormous. Um, so uh, I'm going to juice this bad boy and I'll show you exactly how I make my celery juice taste amazing. I love juicing. I love my red juices with beetroots and ginger, apple, carrot, but I also love green juices with just an apple, green apple and a bit of celery. And by adding a bit of apple into your celery juice, it actually it makes it taste so much more delicious so that it's uh, much more palatable for you uh, first thing in the morning. One piece of advice I can give you is to cut off the leaves of your celery because it makes it um, quite bitter. So it will taste much more sweeter if you simply cut these off and only use the steak part of the celery. Celery is packed with powerful nutrients and antioxidants and it mainly helps with three things. First of all, with weight loss. If you're somebody who is looking to lose weight, then drinking celery juice on an empty stomach with a dash of apple cider vinegar is really powerful as it helps to clean up your digestive tract, speeds up metabolism and also helps your liver to process food and any kind of excess fat faster. Secondly, it helps with bloating. Drinking celery juice every morning helps with bloating. If you're somebody who suffers from bloating, then I can really highly recommend you drinking celery juice on an empty stomach every morning regularly and you will notice that your tummy is much flatter, you will feel slimmer and leaner. 
And thirdly, celery juice is really good for helping to fight infections in your body. It has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties and it really helps to strengthen your immune system. So this is how I juice it. So I put my juice from a company called Breville. I've had it for about four years and I've never had any problems, um, touch wood. It's been used consistently at least four or five times a week over the past four years and, um, and I've really swear by it. It's a powerful juicer. It does really well um, the um, hard skin type of fruit and vegetables. It doesn't do well any of the softest foods. So, so if you are in the market for a new juicer, I really highly recommend this one. I got it on Amazon for about £35 four years ago and it's amazing. It comes with this pot where your juice goes. So simply plug it in and off you go juicing. Da -da 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 -da. And if you're someone who really struggles with the celery juice, then I highly recommend you to add an apple to it. It'll make it so much more sweeter and palatable to your taste. And voila, my celery juice with a bit of an apple is done. So it kind of fills up one glass for me and um, here is the taste test. Much better with the apple. You can feel a taste of sweetness from the apple, but otherwise the celery is quite bland. It's, it tastes quite grassy and quite sort of raw green. It's not the most amazing thing to drink, but um, what it does to your insides actually counts. So I highly recommend having this at least three, four times a week. If you can do more, the better. If you can do every day, even better. Um, and you can combine it with a bit of ginger every now and then, which gives you an extra choice in the morning. And, um, yeah, I think it's worth it. I actually don't mind the taste now. I'm somebody who loves salads, so this is almost like having a salad in a glass, in a liquid form. And what you can also do to improve the taste of the celery juice, you can also squeeze a bit of lemon into it, which makes it even better. Yeah, now we're talking. So if you have enjoyed my video, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you can receive notification about my future um, videos. Um, in the coming weeks, I will be sharing so much more about my own spiritual journey, how I mastered my spiritual awakening, how I overcome depression, anxiety, healed the mental, emotional and spiritual body and also how I then started mastering the, the law of attraction to manifest the things that are super meaningful to me so that I can make a bigger difference, not just in my own life, but also in the lives of people I love and value, in the lives of all of my customers and friends and um, students who I deeply care about. So I look forward to seeing you in the coming weeks, in my future videos. Sending you so much love, peace and joy. Namaste.